What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to talk about stainless steel pipe sets. Shout out to Aqua Ross Colorado who sent me this prototype to test out and get my thoughts on. So in this video we're going to do a quick breakdown compared to the traditional pipe sets with the skimmer of course since this one runs a skimmer. And then we're going to throw on the tank, see what it looks like and I'll give my final thoughts. One thing I immediately noticed is if you want to compare it to the traditional. This is fairly dirty because I wanted to do a tutorial on how to clean glass pipe sets, but I never got to it, so forgive me guys. It has a very big profile, but it doesn't take up a lot of height inside the tank. Now, side-by-side -side comparison with this, as you can see, the profile, the width, is much, much smaller but it is a little bit longer. I would say this is at least like three inches longer. Now with that out of the way, let's break this down and see what this is made of. It has a little disc at the bottom to hold this portion right here. So what this basically does is it sucks in water from the bottom and this is a skimmer. This is pretty much a two in one tube. This is all stainless steel. So to me, this is a fairly simple yet effective way of decreasing the profile of your inlet. Let's put this back. I feel like in future models, they could actually get the diameter of this particular tube down quite a bit. But this is pretty good to be honest. And like the other stainless steel pipe sets, what you could do with this is you don't have to stick your hand in the water in order to adjust the flow. You could just adjust it right on the top. And the outlet for this is pretty standard. You'll find this on pretty much any stainless steel pipe sets. It has a part where you could adjust how the flow comes out. What it also comes with is acrylic holders. So how you install it is you fit this onto the tank, take an Allen wrench, Tighten this screw all the way until, until this part holds. And this is more for security. You take that and you screw this on until this fastens tightly. Now they use this fitting for pipes all the time. But for me, I don't like this. It looks like a pain in the ass to install and uninstall. So I actually have a better way of doing this. These little washers right here. What I do is I take this, I fit it on, and it holds. Now the other thing I have a slight problem with this is the skimmer portion. That's a fairly large hole. And in my tank, I have bladder snail. I could imagine a ton of them getting sucked in. And I could imagine like little shrimps getting sucked in. So to resolve this, I actually cut out some foam and I would just tuck this in inside. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna use as coarse of a foam as possible because the only thing you're trying to do here is prevent little critters from being sucked in. This is all I have for now and this is for demonstration purposes and voila. Now, the other issue I have with this unit is the attachment point for this bracket and your glass tank are these metal screws. If you tighten it tight enough and it being there long enough, it's gonna leave marks on your glass tank. So put a piece of vinyl on that part of the glass so when you're screwing it on, it's screwing onto this vinyl and not directly onto the glass. So that should help a little bit. Remember originally, I was scared of the pre-filter being too big, the slits, so I actually put in a sponge. That didn't work out. Water was barely going in, and what I had to do was I had to take it out. But to combat the fact that these slits are a little bit big, that's what that this is for. What you could do is you could make it go higher or lower. So in my case, I'm gonna make it go higher, which 
gave me a little bit of room right there to prevent things from being sucked in. So I'll probably go a little bit higher than that. And that's how much room I left it at the top. Do I like this? I definitely like the design. Compared to this, it's a smaller profile. But the give and take is, it is much longer. Oh, the other thing I wanna mention about this is, this tank is 15 and a half inch tall. So therefore, this tube looks extremely long. So for instance, if you have a traditional 90P where it's like 17 and a half inches tall, there's obviously two more inches to give down there. Or if you have a really large tank, I think that would be barely noticeable. You'll automatically get a thinner profile and the height won't really bother you. But in this particular tank, this is a 38 gallon 90p the sizes are smaller so therefore it looks a little bit big what i would recommend is you know get something like the ebb zone or the standard glass only if this is too long for you my other gripe is these little things are a little pain to install using the little allen wrench for the two screws to get it on the glass oh, and also the screws being metal i had to install like a little piece of the vinyl i mean you can install whatever you want because you have a good enough gap here for you to tuck something in just to protect the screws from hitting the glass directly and of course easy to adjust just by doing this yeah I still feel like they could go smaller with the slits right here you know there's an opportunity for you to raise this a little bit higher if you wanted to so hopefully nobody gets sucked in for $34.99 I feel like this is quite a deal like always if you like videos like this give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you have not comment down below and share this with a friend I'll see you next time